It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Atlanta Falcons and the New York Jets, and it's all up next. Well, we are about a $50 cab ride away from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the New York Jets. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Set to go, Young Way Koo ready to do the honors. And we are underway from MetLife Stadium. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. And a glance here at the vet. He's got a lot of years under his belt in the National Football League. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure. And he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. Right away, here's Namath to throw. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. On second down, Martin. A limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Namath. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. On well, the Jets sweep, this is Johnson. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's stating the obvious. A give to Martin here out of the gun. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. They'll run it. Here's Martin. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. 
That was a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. Name it to throw on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Here's second and ten. Here's Namath. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball, and sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. They run it again with Martin. And he'll go down at the 28. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. First down, here's the run with Martin. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Second and seven. Off the play fake, it's Namath. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defenders' minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. Name it to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll run. Martin. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. Second and goal from the one. They'll try again. But he will lose yardage here as they knock him back to the three. It's a loss of two, now third down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. So it's third and goal, and now the question, can this Falcon defense stand tall once more? To throw is Namath. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. 
My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Namath now from the gun. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. An incompletion there on fourth and goal from the three. And on the opening drive of the ball game, the defense comes up with a goal line stand. So a long field ahead for the Falcon offense as they head out. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Vic back around his own goal line. Fires quickly to White. So eight yards on the completion there, and third and one now. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Big conversion. They were backed up deep to start the drive, able to pick up the first. So the goal is at least a first down here, right? Pick up a first down, give yourself some breathing room, and if you have to punt after that, maybe you've helped with field position and you've helped out your defense. And avoided a three and out on their opening drive. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 17 yards and a first down for Atlanta. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So first and 10 now from the 30. They run the counter. Turner powering forward. And oh, it coughed it up. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Falcon football, as they've got it with a first and ten. Here's Vic. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Vic with the incompletion on first down, and now that leads to second and ten. They'll set up to throw. That's caught by Risen. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 24-yard line. That's good for 28 yards. Well, when you're facing a receiver like this, you always come into a game thinking, we've got to put our best corner on him. We've got to find a way to get him off his route, limit his touches. But that plan, not working too well on this opening drive. That's already two catches for him, and this one, good for a first down. They'll run on first down. Turner. 
And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. So first and goal from the nine-yard line. Vic, option right. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Vic now. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. From the gun, Vic. Under pressure, and they got to him again. And that sack brings up fourth and goal, a loss of seven. Big play. And it appears to me that someone's defensive coordinator is jockeying for a raise. A sack on second and goal, a sack on third and goal. Now brings up a decision on fourth down. And this one is right through. And the Falcons are out to a 3-0 advantage. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Aku just hit the field goal. Now he kicks off. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD, and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make... And now the red flag out on the field. We'll have a challenge forthcoming. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll try the middle with Martin. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down and one. And a 10th carry here for Martin. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. 
Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. Throwing is Namath. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out and out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. It's a play fake. Now Vic. He's got his man. It's White. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. They run the counter. It's Turner. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see. Yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Come on, Nat. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Up the middle they go. It's Turner, and he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Second down and eight. Now here's Vic. This pass into the hands of Turner. It'll be a gain of five. And it's third and four now. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Vic to throw it. And he is caught. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny them the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. On second down now. It's Turner, and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. 
They ran it and picked it up. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Vic, option right. And he stopped immediately there. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. From the shotgun, it's Vic. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. On third down, Vic. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities, but as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up, and that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. And his kick here is good. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. So scores on their first two possessions, but six nothing. So field goals, probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. Aku just hit the field goal. Now he kicks off. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And New York set to take the field. They are still in search of their first points of the ball game, but only down 6 0 as they begin with a first down. Now Namath. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Throwing on second down is Namath. A quick throw there is incomplete. Locked in completions on first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Up the middle, it's Martin. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 50 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. Name is throw complete there to Johnson. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. That pass complete to Corbett. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half.
Just need a yard here, second and one. Namath. Looking left side and it's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the nine. Now the Jets gonna use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. A kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. They'll look to throw again. Finding Johnson on the out route, that's complete. And he's able to get this down to the five yard line before he's out of bounds. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together and he catches it and goes over the sideline. On second down, it's Namath. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant and it's intercepted. And the Falcons are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. Partner, there's no other way you could describe it because that was absolutely just gut-wrenching for that offense. They were right on the precipice. Points were available. All they had to do was just fall forward, and they were going to put them up on the board. Instead, a long drive ends in heartbreak and a melancholy trip back to the drawing board. How you like it when I go a little bit lyrical for you? So here's Vic following the interception. Throw caught there by Crumpler. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. So a couple of field goals, that's all we've been able to muster through two quarters of play. 6 nothing is our count at the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. This has certainly Coach. been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Falcons back to receive. They've got the lead, and they'll get this football as the second half gets underway. Cordero Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Falcons offense ready to get going to begin this third quarter. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game, and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. Taking it right down Broadway. And he'll have 
it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much. There he goes left side. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Big gains in succession. Last one was over 20. This one over 30. The previous play, big on the ground. That one big through the air. Things have jumped up quickly. Certainly appears that whatever their thought process is on the defensive side of the ball, they're one play behind. You know, loaded up for the pass, they hit them with the run. Load up for the run, they hit them with the pass. They've got to get in sync. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10 to throw Vic. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. From eight yards out. And the Falcons take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here's the Jets' offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Name it to throw on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Johnson. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. To throw is Namath. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Second and 10. Here's Namath. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by A.J. Terrell. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Oh, 
So cancel the interception, pass interference. And you know what else gets canceled? The return yardage. Makes the play, but now it's all for naught. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 14 yards is the pickup there at a jet first down. Well, that's the kind of play that was lacking all the way through the first half. Maybe this can give them a little bit of a spark because they're not out of this game by any stretch. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Name it to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That one goes for 24 yards. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. That's complete right around the eight. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. They have, you're right. They have had no room to breathe. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Back to throw again. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Once you get into the red zone, space is at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. Now the Jets will call on a field goal unit here. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that lead is back down to nine now. Well, the three points certainly helps, but... You feel like, Charles, at this stage of the game, when you force those turnovers, you need to start converting them into touchdowns. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised myself because I thought in this situation, they were thinking end zone or bust. Now they got to rely on their defense to get the ball back again for another opportunity to get six points. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. Atlanta regains possession of the football. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And Vic's throw there incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing, Vic. It's complete to his big target, Crumpler. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. A first down throw coming for Vic. He completes it right side to White. When the hitch route is run really well, that jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space, all you want there 
get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. Off the play fake, Vic. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Second and short. That's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll throw again. Here's Vic firing, and Julio Jones has it on his slant. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Vic operating on first down. Touchdown, Falcons! A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons had six to their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. And, of course, on the two-point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there, and it works. Felt pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver, ball's put on him, two points for them. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And New York set to take the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. To throw on first down is Namath. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Throwing his Namath. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. A give going right to Martin. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. And from the 42 now, here's second and two. They'll set up a throw. He finds his man, Johnson. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 37. A gain there of 21 yards. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point, 
And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. They run over center with Martin. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down and six now. Again, it's Martin. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. 70 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. But well, they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. On first and ten now, Namath. And Martin's got it complete. And he gets it inside the ten to the nine. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's Jet football, but they trail here as we start the fourth quarter. A give left to Martin. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Jets are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. It's up. It's good. That'll make the score line 20 to 10. So that drive in total eight plays and a nine-yard run on the end of it. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So out come the Falcons now. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. The Falcons on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. Here's Vic. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Quinnen Williams able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And on that one, the protection just broke down. 
you've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. New York's offense back out there and set to go. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Johnson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Namath. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now a second and ten. Now Namath. He gets it left side to Johnson. Five yards, now it's third and five. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Namath now from the gun. And this is going to be incomplete. Wave well, going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down. And they come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving and then some. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. Another tote for the workhorse, Martin. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right, it might go to them in this game. I like that, MVU. Well done. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Now a whole lot of room to maneuver there, and I think that's because everyone took care of their responsibilities, filled their gaps, held their place. No place for him to run. Yeah, it looked good. Everything got funneled to the nose tackle. They swallowed him up. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. From the gun is Namath. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. to the 16 here for first and 10. Now back to throw. Throwing middle and it's complete. 
And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. To throw is Namath. Eluding the pressure right. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. First and goal, and they gotta be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll drop to throw. Forced out to his left. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Jets have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Point after, right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. This game has really flipped on its head. Two unanswered touchdowns by the other side, and now... Yeah, they take over here with just a very slim one-score lead. And we've seen this how many times now? Teams get a big lead, they go into coast mode, and all of a sudden they're scrambling and battling for a win down the stretch. They've got to put something together right here, otherwise they're in danger of doing the old snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. First down, Vic. Throw caught there by Crumpler. The big fella down the right sideline. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. A big play there on the catch and run. 57 yards. Boy, this has just been an offensive clinic. It's seemingly been one big play after another after another. And add this one on to the list. When you can bite off more than half the field on one play, <laughs> things are definitely working in your favor. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Vic to throw it. And Jones has it over the middle. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. And they'll run again. And he'll be stopped up short as the tackle is made at about the three. 
Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Oh, Brandon, I'm going to tell you, this is football time to me. They're inside the 10-yard line. That's like drawing the line in the sand. Who's going to make the stand here? Defensive guys, they know if he gets in the end zone, this ball game is over. And the guys with the football right now, they're thinking, let's just pound it in there. Got to hold them to three to keep this a one-score game. They push forward, but I don't think it's enough. He's going to be about a yard short. All right, ball at the one-yard line, fourth down. What do you say? I say go, because if you can't get one yard, he was the old adage, if I can't get one yard, I don't deserve to win anyway. Tell your team it's that time. Who's going to get down into the trenches, grind it out, and make sure that ball gets in the end zone? Who's it going to be? Let's go do it. Less than two to play with just a field goal separating these two sides. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They come up on an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to swell the lead to six. And his kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden they're down. Aku just hit the field goal. Now he kicks off. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. So the Jets now down by six. A minute 54 on the clock. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10. Back to throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put on one of those blood pressure clips, and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. Here comes second down at five. He'll look to throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. They'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Inside a minute to go. Here's second and ten now. Back to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Huge first down, got to hurry. Yeah, now they have to get up there, get set, and then spike it. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. This is first and 10. He's back to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now, because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Here's Namath. 
It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Absolutely ideal there. Get a good size play, get out of bounds. Well, you saw the coaching there. That is taught and it is emphasized. Get out of bounds, understand your situation, as well as just understanding the game. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Name it to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. And remember now, a field goal does you no good. This is touchdown or bust territory. So they took a late shot for the end zone, but the defense, as they've been all game long, up to the task. They'll try again here, second and ten. Back to throw again. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. An incompletion, now a short pickup. That's not going to do it. Yeah, you've got to get to the line of scrimmage quickly, get set up, and aim downfield. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. A big play looming on third down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. Here's first and ten. Throwing his Namath. And this is caught. Touchdown. And now they're an extra point away from winning this thing in the final seconds. Well, that's the one they had to have. Put them in a position where they're tied up, but I got to get out of the way. We still got an extra point that's pretty crucial. That's right. Just one more element to complete the victory. Point after here coming up. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. Extra point attempt to come here. And that might be enough to win them the football game as they now take the lead in the final seconds of this ball game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Oh. 
Well, this one, partner, was fun down to the very end. They got the points late, right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won, <laughs> and fun for us, because we got to watch it and call it. That magic that you were talking about didn't occur at the end, but what a game all the way through. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt.